Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. It is often said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing repeatedly and expecting different results. Well, nearly every person in the United States who values liberty agrees that our current system of being ruled by a few elites in Washington, D.C. is not working. Yet, we have all been trying the exact same methods for 240 years to reform the federal government. And that method is voting for better people to rule us from Washington, D.C. For the people of one nation to peacefully coexist, they must share the same set of core values. They can differ on some methods and some non-critical policies, but they must share the same foundational values. In 1776, every American colonist likely shared the same set of core values, maximum individual liberty, absolute freedom of speech, the unrestricted right to self-defense, and property rights that could not be violated by anyone, even government officials. As many of you know, in 1772, colonists from the town of Ware, New Hampshire, brutally beat the Hillsborough County Sheriff and his deputy just for attempting to enforce the government's legal seizure of a man's white pine trees. The government passed the law, the designated enforcers did their job and tried to enforce that law. And the colonists violently resisted with force. And they are celebrated as heroes. And that story was one of the catalysts for the secession that we all celebrate every Independence Day on July 4th. Today, not everyone in the United States still believes in those core values, though. And roughly half of the people in the United States hold beliefs that are totally antithetical to those pro-freedom values. They believe in government-guaranteed equality, collectivism, massive taxation and redistribution of wealth, strict or total gun control, government-run education, government-run health care, and the belief that government can and should control the lives of every individual in nearly every way. These two groups of people cannot live together in one nation under one set of laws because no one set of laws could possibly be tolerated by both groups. The simplest analogy would be forcing a practicing identifiable Jew and a Nazi to live in the same house. It simply cannot end well and could only end in a breakup or real violence. And it seems that every day we see more evidence that the 330 million individuals in the United States do not share the same set of values. From gun control to taxes, and from foreign policy to drug laws, and we can add corona fascism now as well, there is clearly no consensus among all people in all 50 states. We in New Hampshire are facing two critical issues. First, we are an increasingly libertarian state composed of people who love liberty, while many of the other states do not value liberty as much as they value equality and public health. Second, we are increasingly abused by corrupt and incompetent politicians who live in Washington, D.C., and they force us to fund our own abuse. Once New Hampshire peacefully separates from the D.C. politicians, many, possibly every aspect of our lives, will immediately and drastically improve. Here are just a few examples. Each individual in New Hampshire will save an average of 20 to 40,000 or more dollars per year on federal income taxes, not to mention no more corporate taxes and all the other federal taxes. We would all regain the natural right to own property, including suppressors, short-barreled rifles, and any other item that is federally banned or controlled that we want to own. Regaining the natural right to due process, which has been destroyed by DC politicians in numerous ways, including asset forfeiture, eminent domain, qualified immunity, FISA, NSA surveillance, no-fly lists, and acquitted conduct sentencing. We would no longer be forced to fund perpetual wars in every area of the globe. We would no longer be forced to fund groups like ISIS and the Taliban. An independent New Hampshire would immediately see less corona fascism because so much of it was brought by federal grants, regulations, coercion, and other influence. Even our own state officials would immediately become better leaders once they no longer view and use their offices as stepping stones to get to DC. Our booming economy would improve drastically, making us the Hong Kong of the West, but even more prosperous. Without federal taxes or federal regulations, which cost the U.S. economy over $2 trillion per year, many businesses would flood into New Hampshire, and many local entrepreneurs would surely start their own businesses as well. 
Without federal income taxes, workers would flood into New Hampshire as well. In 2018, Free Keen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now, in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.